the serious wrong was placing the mech on the list. That serious wrong continues by keeping them on the list. Keeping them on the list does not support security and liberty throughout the world. It supports the repressive Iranian fundamentalist regime. The Mech, they turned over their weapons. They accepted consolidation at Camp Ashraf. They renounced terrorism, even though they were not terrorists. They renounced it as I would renounce it. And they accepted the protected person status. Unlike State Department employees who visit Ashraf for a few hours and then walk away claiming, self-proclaiming to be experts, the Moshe Hadin and I have worked very closely together and we have learned a lot from each other. I would like, as their spokesman here today, to share some of that knowledge and some of that lessons. In combat we have in the, in the saying, we have a belief. You fight for the one on your left and the one on your right. I was honored many times, numerous times, to go outside the perimeter into hostile territory. Although they were not armed, the Moshe Hadin was on my flank and I was very proud to have them there. There is a bunch of rumors going around by the Iranian friendly, the Iranian government friendly media and uh, State Department employees, which I have been going head to head with, I would like to address here. First, the denial of access to the compounds is being claimed. While at Ashraf, I was able to and did go into every compound and even without notice and just go in. The only group that has ever been denied access to Ashraf is the U.S. Congressman this year who wanted to go and Maliki personally refused. The room. The rumor is the people of Ashraf are being held against their will. Just like before we stood up here today, I took the opportunity to walk through the crowd and meet with many of you. That was always done at Ashraf in the shaking of hands. If anybody wished to leave, all they had to do was keep hold of my hand and they could walk out with me. Yet, every member of Camp Ashraf stayed because that's where their mission was. They were very loyal to it. They were not being held against their will. The rumor, the rumor is being spread, the Mech has no influence in Iran. If that is true, then why is Khomeini and Ahmadinejad spending so much effort trying to keep the Mech on the list and trying to get Maliki to give him, to give them the mech. Recently, adding to that, Ambassador Butler claims that the mech has provided no valuable intelligence. Well, Ambassador Butler, I believe the intelligence on Iran's nuclear weapons program is very significant. I rate Ambassador Butler as one more federal bureaucrat who is quick to speak about something he knows nothing about. <laughs>